okay so question was uh, to find sum of first n numbers isn't it yes sir okay so how do you find sum of one number sum of one number is 1 sum of two number is 1 plus 2 sum of three number is sum of two number or which is 2 plus 1 yeah right so 1 plus 2 plus 3 yeah. right 3 okay so let's see how to do that i i say n equal to 10 let's say i want 10 numbers okay now to perform sum you need to iterate through 10 times okay first i need to find 1 then 2 then 3 so the iteration should run for same number of times right so if n is 10 the case iteration will start from zero right so i have to say for i in range 10 or n right so it'll start from zero go up to n minus 1 which is 9 in our case right so this is now now when you add when you take a number so it is easy to take a number right so first n number means c uh, natural numbers i said right first natural number means yeah. it should start from 1 not from 0 one, so yeah. your sum that you need to add is i plus 1 right now i need to take 1 and put it somewhere where should i put it i'll put it in a variable called sum okay so sum equal to first case it is i plus 1 which is 1 perfect second time it has to be sum plus i plus 2 right so how do i generalize this so initially what i'll do is i will set sum equal to 0 so i'm generalizing sum equal to 0 so its sum is 0 now i will do sum equal to sum plus i plus 1 or i can directly say plus equal to right so when i say sum uh, equal to sum plus i first case your sum is 0 when n is 1 right your sum is 0 Okay, let me use this chat one more time. Okay, so sum is zero, and next time, okay, when i becomes two or not i but n, okay, now second number, right? It becomes two. It is sum plus one with zero plus one previous value. So sum is now one. So now you're adding two to one, right? Mm -hmm. So this is how I'll be able to perform sum of first n numbers. Okay. When you are done, at the end, you can type print sum of n number, and I can say sum, right? So this is outside the loop. So inside the loop, you're performing sum. and then sum of n numbers equal to yeah hey right? if i make it 2 okay you know it is 3 1 plus 2 is so you have, you have to have a variable okay which will keep track of the sum that has to be updated every time you run the loop so you put sum equal to Zero outside, and then inside you say sum equal to sum plus i. Okay. Right? Yeah. So what was the other uh, problem? Uh, uh, some uh, uh, some grade and average. Yeah. Okay. So sum of marks, right? um so okay so using loop find the sum of five subjects right so generally okay generally what we do we say m1 equal to int of input marks one yeah and that we repeat it five times if you have to do it for five subjects okay now when you are repeating it 
we should use loop, right? So that we can save time, effort, and also number of lines will be less, right? Easy to manage, okay? So to do that, what I'm going to do is, okay, I'm going to put this in a loop. Okay, so for, okay, I'll use J in range five, which is fine. Okay, so this is going to run five times. Okay, I'll put this M1 inside. But the problem here is M1 will be replaced with new value every time you are running the loop. Run the loop first time, M1 will be something. Let's say I enter 50. Second time I enter 70, so 50 is replaced with 70. So I'm, I'm not able to save all the values. Values is overwritten. So I need to use it before it gets overwritten, right? So how do I use the same logic what we did here? So I'm going to say before the loop sum equal to zero. Now I'm going to say sum plus equal to m1. That's it. So line number nine takes the value of m1, correct, and then puts it in. Line now in line number 10, it puts it in sum. Then again, line number nine, when it's repeated, takes a new value and it adds to the old value. You keep on adding to the next value. Okay, that's the change you have to make. And otherwise, now from here, it's same like average, right? So you can find average is sum of five and so on, right? From here. The code will remain as it is what we did last week. Okay, this is how you can. Okay, now just to be, um, what do you call it? be more uh, better at writing comments. Okay, so when I run it, okay, I'm getting I'm getting marks one right. I enter sixty six. Again, it is asking me marks one right. So how do I, how do I make it dynamic? What I'll do is, okay, okay, let me write full sentence. Enter the marks for one second. I'm going to call from office one second. So I enter the marks for uh, subject one. So instead of one, see, I cannot close it, okay, and give comma, give uh, J plus one comma, I can't do it, okay? Because input accepts only one comment at max. Print will accept multiple comments. Okay, arguments. This is, this is one argument. This is second argument. This is third argument, right? You're giving three arguments, comma, besides number of arguments. Number of arguments separated by comma. So this, if I put it in print, it will work fine. But input is not going to work because input accepts only one comment. So I have to make it as a one single comment, one single text, okay? So for that purpose, what I'll do is I will say plus. Like this okay plus is used for what adding two strings so i have added all these three strings okay now the problem here is this is string this is also string but this is not string j is an integer j is an integer j plus one also be an integer i right? start so to convert this into a string well, then you can add Strings, okay. Strings plus string can do it. Number plus number can do it. But number plus string, you can't do it. So how will uh, plus j plus one will work here? I, I don't get it. 
we did this in the first day itself okay print a plus p what do you get a plus b you get a b a is a string b is a string i'm adding to a string this is what we oh, did if you okay. remember yeah, yeah, yeah. before we converted into integer input when we read 9 and 9 it became 99 not 18 yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Okay. right yeah. So yeah, so here you can add two strings, A is a string, B is a string. When you add two string, it becomes A, B. You, if, mm -hmm. if you drop in a number plus number, you'd have a mathematic uh, sum, right? Five plus five will be 10. Six plus four mm -hmm. will be 10, right? But uh, when you're adding two string, it will be it concatenate, right? Okay. So, so same logic I'm trying to use here, okay? Same logic I'm trying to use here, but I'm still one step away from that logic. Okay, so if I do enter the marks for subject plus colon, it will work fine because this is a string and this is also a string, but this is not a string. J plus one is an integer. Okay, so I have to make it a string. So just like when you do int of, it becomes integer, str of will make it string. So I'll say okay. str of. So still we have three arguments. This is one text argument. Okay, this is one argument with J plus one integer, but I've converted into a string and this is another string. So all three are string and you can add all three together. So it will concatenate basically. And that's what we want here, right? So when I run it, okay, I should have printed some, but that's okay, let's do it. So 56, so see now it became subject one. Now it's giving subject two, okay. okay. Right? So you get sum equal to sum plus the, the marks M1. Okay. All right. Now, yeah. now you know what to do, right? If yeah. it's equal to sum of five and if, okay. okay. Now, okay, let's thinking. Okay, let's create, let's, let's, um, uh, do a let's develop a game okay the game is like this okay um you have to think of a number and computer has to guess or maybe computer to think of a, thinks of a number or let's say we think of a number we'll think a number and we'll make computer guess okay so how do we do that is with you know computer will randomly give a value number and if that number Okay. If the number which we have thought is greater, we'll say greater. Okay, if the number is smaller, we'll say smaller. Okay, please think of a greater number or a smaller number. Right? So let's do that. How I'm going to do is I'm going to um, use, let's say, guess. Okay, let's say we think of number 20. Okay. We have thought of a number 20. Okay, we thought of a number 20. Now, now we will guess a number. We'll guess this number. Okay, so I'm going to say, okay, I'll say actual, okay, not guess. This is the actual number with, let's say, you know, we have thought of and we want computer to guess it, okay? Guess is like, yeah, tell me. Okay, so I'll say input of guess the number. Okay. So if actual equal to guess print congratulations you guessed it right correct otherwise if you have two i'll say l
sorry you couldn't guess this time okay so this is a simple if else where i'm checking if the number guess is right or not okay now we will try to add more complexity okay guess the number actual number is 20 i guess 8 of course you could not guess the number right okay actual number is 20 and i guess 20 right so congratulations you guessed it right okay good now let's say here we have to tell the user that whether the guess is smaller or bigger okay so what you guess is is it smaller than the uh, uh, your actual number or greater how do we do that we will expand this else so i'll ask l if actual greater than guess if you have guessed if actual is greater than then should you guess a lower number or a higher number higher number of course no actual okay actually is greater so you have to guess a higher number isn't it so you didn't get this time please choose a higher number okay and this can be our int input so again i'm going to say okay so um, okay uh, i'm going to say okay let's print it for now okay then we will change it so you can guess this time please choose a higher number right and what will be the else condition is it necessary sorry couldn't guess this, this time please choose a lower number isn't it so when you run it you say 66 okay please choose a lower number okay now we need to do this repeatedly till we get it right okay so this whole thing has to be in a loop while true while true means it is a infinite loop it will go on forever okay and when should this break this should break when you get it right okay when you get it right it should break isn't it so i can simply say here break so i want to break this loop once you get this right okay that's when the game will stop okay and here what i'm going to do is i'm going to read the guess number okay so i'm saying guess equal to so i am reading the number again okay oops okay guess input of Int of input of. Okay, now let's run this. Guess the number. I say sixty-six. Sorry, you couldn't guess this time. Please choose a lower number. Let's say forty-four. Sorry, you couldn't guess this time. Please choose a lower number. Twenty-two. Please choose a lower number. Eleven. Okay, you couldn't guess this number. Please choose a higher number. Eighteen. Okay, higher number, twenty-one. Lower number, twenty. Okay, congratulations, you got it. You guessed it right. Sir, can you please explain uh, the break part? Like, how is it working? Yes, tell me. What do you know? Have you, are you seeing it for the first time? Did we do this before? Break. We no, did, sir. right? No, sir. We did when we discussed Sorry. about. Okay, I'll repeat it. Okay, so yeah. see what break does is see for loop. Okay, or while loop in this case, I, I mean for uh, break works for both the cases. Okay, while loop as well as uh, uh, for loop. So any loop will continue till it reaches its destination uh, or you know reaches the exit criteria. Right. So if you say for yeah. 
uh, i in range 10 so it will go on till i equal to 9 right when it's 10 it, it fails it comes it breaks the loop while i less than x it reaches till i as long as i is less than x the moment i becomes equal to or greater than x it stops right yeah okay which is fine but what happens sometimes you might want to close it before it reaches to the end okay so let's say you want to add marks of five subject but you encountered minus you want to stop it you don't want to continue it right so uh, you might want you might have to break the loop before it actually completes the uh, the looping part right so while true okay is the while if it is true it will continue so if you write some other condition the condition can become false but when you write directly true that means your condition will never become false isn't it while true see while true means while will work as long as the value after while is true but if you directly write true then somebody has to manually write false there right or then it's going to break okay so it becomes an what you call as infinite loop okay it will go on forever so sometimes when you don't know how many times you have to run the loop, when you don't know, it is better to put an infinite loop. When you're guessing a number, you know, the person can guess the number in one chance or 100 chance or 50,000 chance. You don't know how many chance it will take for a user to guess. In that case, we put while true. When you put while true, that means when you write true, it will go on forever, right? And using break, we can break it when we want to. Otherwise, it will go on forever. So whenever we want to break, okay. we will break it using for loop. Okay. Is that right? Yes, sir. All right. Yes, sir, yes sir. Here, okay. No, sir. Okay, let's add one more thing to it. Okay, um, I will send you this. Okay, and let's see if you can change it so that uh, we'll count how many steps did you take to guess the number. So when you say that you know uh, you guess the number, then you would say that you guess the number in five times six times so how do how do we change you tell me how to modify this program i'll modify this program so in the congratulations part i also need to give how many times like in this case i think it took six times right it should give that you guessed it right in six attempts Think about it and let me know where to make what, how to make changes. So no idea. Think, think. So do we need to use any function like not function you can use a variable and do it i will declare let's say um, iteration or something called to zero okay 
can I guess it right? In rash iteration, okay. I'll put it F here and I'll put iteration. Okay, now whenever I run it, I will still get zero iteration only, right? Because I'm not increasing the value of, so let's see if I run it, the guess the number I say 15, choose so higher number 20, it's not given me two, right? But it's still giving zero because of course I'm not changing. So yeah, I'm assigning it here. I am printing it here. Where should I increase it? That's the question now. At least now you tell me, where, where can I increase it? So is it in elif part? Line number, you tell me. Uh, eight. Only eight? Okay. So yeah. uh, I guess um, 25. Yeah. Sir, in lower part also, I think. Then. Mm hmm. And eleven after eleven. And to delete from here and put it there? Uh, no, put it in both legs. I just want to see what will be a change. Yeah. Is it correct? Yeah. Correct? Yes. How many numbers have you guessed? Tell me. Oh, sorry. Three. Three. It should be three. Yeah. Uh, sir, we can, can't we do like in else part, uh, iteration plus equals to two. Mm -hmm. uh, that's fine. Yeah. In 12th line number, we can put two. Iteration plus equals to two. Two. Okay. Guess the number hundred. Lower. Choose the. Oh, okay. Uh, higher number, right? I'm choosing hundred. Choose a lower number. Eighty. Lower number. Seventy. Sixty. Thirty. Twenty. Okay, now. On what logic you said we should add increase by two? So, so like I thought for the first one, it is taking like zero or one, maybe. One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven. It's only seven times. Yeah. See. Think, Shivam, little bit. This is when you get into lower number. So every yeah. time you enter a higher number, so that you are you are telling, please enter lower, please enter lower, please enter lower. 
you are adding two iteration every time is it right no you should add only one no. yeah okay what is missing is this one when you get it right that also is an attempt right when you are correctly guessing even that is also an attempt how can you get it without writing without making an attempt okay how many times do you, did you take to pass the exam okay you will say one you won't say zero time when i say two times okay. two attempt means you have failed one second time you cleared if you say one means you have passed first time so even when you write you get it okay now this is going to work fine okay guess the numbers i say 30 lower number i say 10 and higher number say 20 three attempts okay now see okay now If this is if block if elif else right completely this is one single block okay in every where you are giving plus equal to plus equal to one right so if, so this okay. does not depend whether it is if else or elif so if it is specific okay. to if else elif it's fine but it doesn't depend so you can actually give it before only why to give three times okay so this will any anyway be called if this is true or this is true or this is true in all the three cases that will be called then why even mention it so one question like uh, in uh, line number 7 yeah uh, print f like what's the use of that huh ah, what is this shivam you are forgetting what we discussing this was second uh, class we discussed what is f you tell me bad very bad for the uh, uh, format string okay format in the format string you can give the variable direct you don't have to if you don't give f then i'll have to uh, as enter as a different argument right i have to say comma or plus if i use f yeah, yeah. i can directly put here or if i don't put f i have to say dot format three types Uh, we uh, we we discussed three ways to do it. If you remember, we took uh, unit price, cost price, and total price. Using unit price, yeah. cost, and total price, using that we discussed dot format, f string, and the functions, uh, the arguments that we pass to a function or print function rather, not any function but to print function. Okay. So if you don't want to give format, or if I don't write uh, dot format. Okay, if I don't have to give f, if if I don't want to give f, or I can't write dot format, then I'll have to enter quotation, have to end, then have to say comma. Remember what we did for j plus one at the top, in yeah, yeah. something similar. Yeah. Similar, we have to do it here. Okay. Right. So dot format yeah. or f string is a uh, is a nicer and shorter way of doing same thing. Okay. right okay so okay Okay, little, uh, little make, uh, we'll make little more twist to it. So instead of guessing here, okay, oops, okay, instead of guessing the number, let's uh, make um, Python guess the number. So the condition is, the number can be. 
the number can be anything between 0 and say 1000. Okay, there's a limit. You can think of a number between 0 and 1000. And we will make computer think of the number. How do you do that? Okay, so, so we, do we need so, to assign it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So instead of saying int equal to input, let's say we'll start with the uh, you know mid value of this. Let's say five hundred. Okay. Okay. This is five hundred. Okay. I have assigned five hundred to uh, guess and I'm comparing. Now, how do we how, how do we change the value of the guess automatically? Tell me. What's your idea? See, first attempt I'm doing five hundred. Okay. Now let's say this is twenty, right? It says your number is less than twenty. Then how do we do that? First thing is, uh, how do you think of a next number? Okay, so let's say we both are playing the game. I have thought of 20 in our mind. You asked me 500. I said, no, you, you have thought of a higher number. Please think of a lower number. Okay, so now how will you think of a lower number? Add some mathematical logic to it. Okay, any logic that you want to. There is no correct or wrong logic. So tell me, how will you think? Okay, so we are playing the game, right? And you don't know that at thought of 20, but when you say 500, I told you, please think of a lower number. Then what will be your next guess? Tell me. Less than 500, of course. So tell, what will be, your guess means? Tell me one number, no. Don't give me the explanation. You're playing the you tell me wh what. Tell me a number. 400. Ah, so how did you guess 400? Have some logic. What's the logic? That you asked me to uh, think a lower number, that's why. Correct. So from 0 to 500, there are 500 numbers. Yeah. Okay, why do you think of 400? Or rather, if you have not thought about it, not think about a logic. Say, so okay, this is the logic I'm going to use. See, automation, IT means automation. Automation means it's going to look for some kind of logic, right? So if Otherwise, if you don't have, you give a logic. Can you hear me? Shivam? Yes. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. there could be multiple, uh, you know, uh, ways to think about it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to, to check um, with a low and high value. Okay. So what I'm going to do is low value I know is going to be zero, right? And high value is going to be thousand. Right, and my guess is low plus high, okay, and by two. I'm going to check low plus high. By. This is one of the logic I'm applying. Okay, as you tell you, right, you can do a, your own logic. So I'm guessing high and low, okay. So now here, okay, so what I can do is before I can put it inside the loop, right, so that I don't have to do it again. So before, okay, after the loop, first thing first of what I'm doing is I'm guessing the number, okay? Now actually equal to guess, if this is there, then fine, you guess it right. Otherwise, okay, it will either get into this or this, isn't it? Now, when it gets into this, please find a higher number. That means that number that you have thought of, okay, is the lowest number. Okay, so guess, okay, can we only be integer, right? Since of 
single slash, I'll use double slash. Okay. Now, so see here, when I say, think of a higher number, let's say I thought 10. And that's it says, think of a higher number. That means the number cannot be less than 10. Number cannot be less ah, than yes. 10. So what I will do is I will make this low as equal to guess. So my guess was 10. It told me, think of a higher number. That means guess is a lower number and I'm moving lower numbers or low to guess because between low to guess, that number is invalid. So why to put low at zero? I will move it to where the guess is. When it has, when you have thought of a higher number, okay, that means that higher number cannot be more than that. So what I'll do, I will say high equal to guess. And that's it. Okay. I guess, think of a, sorry, you couldn't guess this time. Please and choose a lower number. Okay. Now here anyway, uh, this is there, right? I can comment it out. Okay. I, I what I'll do is instead of deleting it because now it is automatically thinking the number, right? The computer is automatically thinking of the number low plus high by two. So we don't have to say, we don't have to say input. Our program is automatically. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, Think of a lower number. Okay. Now you run. You see. Sorry, you couldn't guess the number. Please choose a lower number. Lower number. Lower number. Right. If you want to print, you can print this. Sorry. Uh, your guess. Sorry. Yeah. Your guess is incorrect. In correct, okay. And here I'll do F and put guess here. So your guess number is incorrect. Please choose a higher number. And I'm going to copy this stuff from from here till here. Control C, and I will put it. Here and I'll say lower number. Now, when you run it, as you see, oops, <laughs> I didn't put F here. So, first it guessed 500, incorrect, lower number. Then it guessed 250, incorrect, lower number. Then it guessed 125, incorrect, lower number. Then 62, half. Then 31. Then 15. Then think of a higher number. Then thought of 23. Think, you know, choose a lower number. Then it, then it thought of 19. Then it thought of 21. Finally, in 10 attempt, it got the correct value. Okay. okay. Mainly thinking about the, like, the logic one. Yes, that's what we're doing. We're, it's all about logic. Once you know the logic, then programming is easy, right? Code, you can get it from internet. But what are we doing? How are we supposed to work on? Yeah. Okay. So I'll stop here again today. You have got the PDF notes that I've shared with you, isn't it? I've, uh, shared, I've shared a Google Drive location. Uh, Python? Yes. Uh, See, SQL, I'm putting the notes link in the description of the video itself. Yeah. Okay. So, for first one, it is, I have, I have uploaded only two videos, right, so far? Right? Uh, for SQL? Huh? For SQL, it's three, I think. Three, right? So I think first one was anyway, uh, this thing. So, uh, what I'm doing is, I'm putting the notes either in the video description or I'll be putting the link in the video description. So, you can check that for uh, for python i've already shared you a google drive link correct the google drive link i'm not getting okay I, no. i'll share it again i'll share it again today so please in your app sir i'm uh, sorry is it in that app oh yeah so app had some oh, problem okay.
so it's back now again i'll upload in the in the uh, app anyways i'll upload it tonight okay i'll do it but google drive link I no 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 have. that's okay so your app uh, i'll send you the google drive link i'll send you the google drive link yeah, yeah. i'll send you the google drive link today so you should be able okay. to practice all those yes uh so one thing yes. uh so from uh, 24th uh till 30th mm -hmm. i think yeah. i won't be able to attend the classes because i am having my uh, final sem like final exam so in between, in between i have three days holidays that time i can do one second one because second 